How's it going everyone? My name is Ruskai and today we'll be having a look at our new queen. So, our first video ever on this video was a Volcarona GX deck. Why? Because Volcarona GX was my first ever uh, pull. It is right here. Wait, let me show you. It is double, it's like in a sleeve inside of this box. So there, here is my Volcarona, then there's a full article brush and that's a Japanese Articuno, 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 uh, from Jake, uh, twice big Jake. Oh, sorry about this. Okay, <laughs> so um, just to show you, it was my first pull ever, uh, my first uh, special pull. So I wanted to celebrate that by building a deck for her. And then I came up with a deck with uh, Sylvalai and stuff like that. And eventually it was very good. But then the VMAXs were very popular, like Darkest Blaze came, Rebel Clash. It wasn't that good anymore. But now that we have Togekiss VMAX, which I also pulled, is right here my first ever VMAX so that's my first GX and then it's my first VMAX it's amazing it's amazing um, but yeah I, I, I thought mm, maybe we could put this together maybe we could just combine it in a deck and oh boy it is a lot of fun I can tell you right now it is so much fun to play with this it's insane it's absolutely ridiculous so um, what the whole strategy is is to start off with a token is VMAX, so that's the main goal. Setup, probably, probably. So that was the main problem with uh, Volcarona. You need setup, and it's a lot of work sometimes. Sometimes, but once you do setup, your damage is out of the shots. Uh, so the the whole goal is not so much the damage amount, but the damage control, the, the amount of damage that you spread everywhere to get those perfect KOs, those perfect shots that you do the exact amount of damage that you need that's just how it goes with this deck so you set up your all your kills you need to do a lot of math like it's really big math problem thing where you yeah where you need to set up all your kills so that's what it, uh, what it's all about so max glide here the 120 you may search your deck for up to two cards and put them in your hands of course there is a thing with monies but it isn't that big of a deal if they're money because it is what it is, you know? You don't need to worry about it because you will still be able to set up a little bit. Unless, of course, you have a dead hand and it's a little sad, but you shouldn't worry too much. So we have a 2 2 line of the Orchid's VMAX. Then we have a Crow Fan V. No dead energy X, I don't know. I don't think I need to. Then we have uh, Lara Vestas. So for Lara Vesta, I chose this one from Darkest of Blaze because of its retreat cost and Singe. It's much easier and does much more damage it's enough to do make a difference before I always use this one but its retreat cost makes it so difficult and its attack cost is just out of the shards for only 50 damage which is the whole reason by the way this one is bad. Uh, anyways um, so yeah that was, that's that so a 4-4 four, four line of all corona I, I got loads of these uh, I think yeah I've got four and one locked and one full art and then two rainbow it's pretty big uh, and then I have uh, Victini V so this one here is just uh, a support it's not so much for the spreading flames but it's more for the energy burst it's nice damage it's it's pretty fun so yeah that's why it's here it's pretty decent supporter card in general but the main um, idea actually is to put one Togus V Max and then they still need and then don't put any other VMAX in play. If you do that, then you're then you're not playing the right way because you want them to be able to need to kill three Pokemon at least. So that would be a VMAX first, which is pretty bulky. Then you uh, then probably a Volcarona, and then they still need to KO something like maybe a Crobat, maybe a Larvest, maybe another Volcarona. You can you can really stretch the game that way. Uh, then we have four for Evolution Instance, of course for the for the Dogekiss VMAX. And of course for the full Corona as well, of course, of course. Then for Fire Crystals, because we discard our energies by using this flaming shot. But we discard an energy, fire energy from, from our hands and put two damage counters on one of my opponent's Pokemon. This is why, because you stack this, you do 80 damage a turn, that's bonkers. It's out of shots, it's amazing. It's a lot of fun as well. Uh, and then it's backfire attack, but just two damage two energies into your hand. So if it gets KO'd, you get it into your hands. So you can reuse it with your abilities later on. And then it's massive heat um, GX move. Can be really game changing. Discard an energy from each of your bonus Pokemon. You can discard a water energy from ADP, uh, an energy from your session, so that you have wasted uh, a metal saucer, etc. etc. Before 
um, when this was in beta, um, there was a nuzzle deck, so it was Pikachu and and uh, yeah, some other some nuzzle Pokemon, and they attached an energy to all their Pokemon. Well, if you use this, you detach, you, you discard that literally six energies from their play, so you you use that damage by a lot, and then most of the time you win that way. So that was something very fun back in the day, but yeah, that's not anymore. Then we run one ordinary rot. The reason for that is to maintain the damage output with Volcaronas, plus the energy retrieval if that's really necessary. Then three Pokemon communication because we run a, a lot of Pokemon, and we want oh, sorry, and we want to make sure that we can evolve correctly. And for quick balls, of course, in any deck. Um, let's change this up because I have to update that. That's perfect there. Uh, and then we have two switches. This is important to switch out if that's necessary. If you start off with a Volcarona, we don't want to stay that. We don't want to keep it that way. We want to get the Stoicus in uh, in active spot. Then we have two. Um, Giant half, so the giant half here is great to get energies, plus to discard uh, energies from your hands, etc. etc. It's pretty decent. And we have two bots order. This is of course great to just have even more control over the deck, that, uh, over the over all, all Pokemon in play. It's just a perfect card in all decks basically. Boss order is just a fantastic card. Then we have Mellow and Lana. This is great for healing, Togekiss for example. Uh, but it's also just an extra switch card, which is what we could use. Otherwise, I would be running three switches. Then we have uh, four Marnie. So Marnie is just, of course, a great uh, draw support plus hand stuff. Then we have four Welders. So of course, a Welder is a great card because you can charge your Pokemon at once. You can charge a Doikis V Max. You can charge your Volcarona again after they get it back in your hand, etc. The Welder is great. Plus, plus it draws cards for you. It draws three cards when it does that. So that's why a Welder is just busting every single fire deck right now. I think after rotation when Welder will get rid uh, get out of standards, I don't think anyone will ever play as fire deck again because they will just miss the Welder so much. The Welder is just a must in literally any deck. Okay. Uh, and then we have three uh, powerful energies, not four, because I don't wanna focus too much on that extra damage from Turkis. Of course having three is well means that we can have those energies and it will be good. But yeah, I, I think the fire energies are more important uh, to discard, to get back, etc. So yeah, that's why there are three, to get extra damage. But if we need to, we can still attach it to Volcarona because it has this free color, colorless, uh, colorless, color, colorless uh, spot, so that's good. And then of course, the remaining cards are the 12 fire energies, which is a must. Because if we don't have enough energies in our deck, we will be running out of them pretty soon. But I find that this combination here is just a perfect thing because you won't be running out of your energies because you know, okay, I need to use my, my uh, fire crystal to get energy back. So what do you do? You get fire crystal with Toic is VMAX uh, and, and yeah, then you're set up. So that's how you maintain a correct balance between energies, discarding, getting back in the discard pile, etc. Um, yeah, so this is how you play the deck and I hope you will all enjoy the next three matches that we, will gonna, that we are going to play. Cheers and yeah. Enjoy the video. Thank you. Alright, so that's our first match with our Volcarona GX deck on video. So we're gonna play three matches and the first three that we encounter will be in the video. No matter how bad they are, they will be in the video. <laughs> that's my rule. That's my rule. So you wanna go first with this deck because you want to evolve as quickly as possible and this is a very good start. So we start off with a Toikis and energy switches. Well that's not necessary when you have Toikis. But yeah, uh, and a Marnie as well, so that's good. Our chances odds of getting the VMAX are pretty high. So yeah, that's a pretty good start. He has a Mimikyu that prevents healing, which is not a problem for us. Of course, it prevents us from using Mellow and Lana, but that's the only problem. I see a Sobble, okay, that's pretty interesting. With a capture energy and he gets another Sobble. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. Um, now, I think I'm gonna use use this Marnie, get a VMAX, hopefully. Okay, and I, I didn't mean to like top deck uh, VMAX, of course, that's a little too much, but hey, I'm happy. Let's discard this Doogis, get a Crobat. No! Didn't you see me click on that Crobat? Click done. Oh my 
my god. That's sad. That's just sad. Anyways. And now it looks like I'm, I'm, I'm mocking him. That's not what I meant. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man, I feel bad now. Um, but yeah, I think this is good enough. Then we will use this money. Yes, yeah, sure. Alright, so we price this um, Pokemon communication. So yeah, we definitely have the upper hand here. Well, he can't use Manaphy now because yeah, that's a money. So, well, maybe it's good that we didn't use Aquaba then. Perhaps, perhaps. Okay, that's uh, a meh hand because we can't do much. Unless we get an energy, we can draw some cards. So he uses this whole drizzle line with the uh, Intellion, of course. Aha, so an Aracuda deck. Interesting. So it's our weakness. That is a fact. We did get an energy, so that's good for our world later on. Because we can get it back with our Fire Crystal. Of course, it's a little waste, but better have some draw than none. So, okay, I see. That's pretty, pretty smart, actually, to combine your Intellion with the items. Uh, to get those Aracudas back um, in your deck, in your hands, in play. And then your uh, primer up and stuff, to then big KOs. Yeah, that's pretty decent actually. Well done. But of course those Aracudas have low HP and only I'll, I'll, I only need 3 Volcarona to KO one each turn. So that's a prize card each turn. And things like Mew don't block my damage cast because they are damage cards, there's, there's not damage. Also, uh, the Tene's 160 damage is enough to KO it. Well, we have 160 damage, so that's perfect. Alright, so, uh, yeah. What will he do? He goes and attacks and does 30 damage. Another Arcuda, great. He does have his bench filled now, so can't do much. I kill. Ah, okay, so he wants me to KO the Arcud. Interesting. We did top deck an energy. So I suppose we shouldn't use our fire crystal just now. I'm gonna get rid of this uh, and we get, we're gonna get. I'm gonna get this, yeah. I'll get. Feel good about that. So what we are gonna get right now is um, turn half to get those energies. Then use them with the Volcarona. Yes, he's fair. And then of course something else like. Something to draw, of course. So I think I'm gonna go for the Marnie again. Yeah, seems fair. All right, and we of course get a prize card. Thank you. That's a lot of stuff. Nice. That's good. Pretty good. So we're getting there to actually be able to KO anything. A Rose, a Rosa, a pretty nice one. I like it. And a Fallout as well. Look at a beautiful card. I mean, beautiful, right? It's itching here. All right. Yeah, it's a pretty cool card. I like him. And a golden rod, man. This man has bucks in his pockets. Oh boy. Now he gets two item cards. Wait, it's an item card. Just trainer cards. Trade trainer cards. Okay, two trainer cards. So it could be anything. So it could be. Wow. Damn, man. That's so good. Hell yeah. I like that deck idea. I like that. It's crazy, man. 120 damage as well with a side effect. What is it? Uh, uh, there's 20 damage to one of my Pokemon on the bench. Decent. Decent. It does one shot our Volcaronas though. 120 damage, 240. That's a one shot on the Volcarona.
Yeah, I don't worry about that. So you do 120. I deal 120 on you. And I do uh, I deal 20 damage with Volcarona. And then next turn I will KO your uh Antelion. If you don't, of course, use scuba nets, which will happen which is what happens a lot of times. And that is just sad when that happens. Alright, so I'll put this down. Put that down. We play this. Get rid of the switch. We do the pew pew sounds, always always welcome. Um, I suppose it is a good idea to just go big, you know. I just um yeah, damage him. Could just start off by damaging something like an Arcuda of course, but I feel like it's more threatening this way. Um, I suppose it's no big deal to just use it now. <laughs> again. Uh, okay, and we're, gonna, we're going to attach these two there. No biggie if he goes and kills us. That's no problem. Alright. So far, so good. We're gonna keep that Mellow Alana. Although he can't heal. Thanks to that. We're gonna keep the boss's order. Uh, definitely. Let's get it. Let's get rid of that. And boom. Let's get another uh, Larva style play. Use Max Glide. Do some damage. And we are getting. Okay, we have that. We have a boss's order. So I suppose we can get uh, Proban. And something like. An energy. Sure. We have none into this card pile. So we can discard one with the giant half, then get two. We can use those two. Oh, yeah, that is also a tank. Forgot that. Oops. Menfi. Damn. <laughs> oof. Big oof. Now you can go and KO that. I don't really mind. So we're gonna do 20 there, and then we're gonna do 20 on the Mimikyu. Oh no, the Arakuda. We're gonna go big and we're gonna attack other things. So Arakuda, you're gonna die. Ah. Yeah, then it's gonna be this Mimikyu. Oh my god, so... He's gonna KO him. Well played, holy shit. That is big. I forgot this thing. <laughs> Damn, man. Wow. I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. Oof. Damn. That was big. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Now we don't really need to like, focus on those things. Um, boom, boom. So that's there. We can go and KO the Mew, though. I will be safe. Right, another energy. That's good. Yeah, let's focus on the Mew now. Since you can't really attach much, we're gonna go and KO your um, Arcuda. Let's just attach one there so we can attack next turn again. Boom, boom, boom. I suppose that's not a problem. I think we can evolve him, right? No? Can't remember. We can. So let's go and attach one there again. Alright. Kaboom. So let's see how he comes back from this. He has two prizes left. 
one of them will be the Mew. And there's of course his scoops, which is high possible. That's probably what it's going to do. But I'm sorry for that, I was just stretching. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm expecting a scoop of net, which is why I should actually have done something else, but alright. Because if I just attach the 20 damage on the Mimikyu there, then we will still have gotten that damage, that KO. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Well, he did waste his whole thing on the... on the... on the... Toekis, that was it, Toekis. So yeah, that's that. He, he, he can't just not have a scuba, right? He can't. <laughs> he played the Nessa as well, so that's weird. He has beat in his whole deck, right? That's just such a beautiful full art, that's a lot. Alright, so he did scoop up, that's what we expected, of course. That shouldn't be a problem, because he put down a Mew. Uh, very weird move, thank you, well played. I am utterly confused, he actually did confuse me. We won, we won, there's no way he, he can come back from this. He wasted the turn, plus we can use a boss to get those last kills, so I mean... I'm gonna show what we could have done. So even against the weakness, we can just boom. So like we would have won uh, in a lot of ways. So that's good. There we go. That's a good first match, actually. Like my God, he blew me away with that. Very good. I don't know why I forgot that though. I really didn't. I didn't know. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. That's so cool! Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa! How did I never? I have never seen this card before. <laughs> what? I need this! I need this so much with Volcarone! I need this so much! Yo, and we have one, so hell yeah, Mr. Mime, you are getting in this deck. You are coming in this deck. How can I not have seen this? I'm absolutely discussing this with the Discord. Like, <laughs> how can I not have known this? I'm so blown away right now. It's incredible. Okay, let's quickly add that back. Alright, alright, so let's go to the Volcarona Returns deck. So, like, right here, and we shall switch something out. What can we switch out? I believe we can just go and switch out this for the Mr. Mime. Mr. Bro, <laughs> how can we not have done that before? Okay, so for everyone that's still watching, thank you so much, by the way. This Mr. Mime has to come in there, has to be there. Oh my god, it's just bonkers. How can I not have remembered this? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah, that was a very good match. Very good. I like him. So that's the first match, and uh, up to the two next matches. Cheers. Alright. So let's start off with our second match of today with Volcarona GX returns because this is our second Volcarona video. All right, so I see fire burning the trees. I see fire. That's <laughs> the song. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I wanna go first. I don't care if you're fire, mate. You do you. It's a win-win for us then, hey? I go first. Okay, I'll wait for a second. So I see well there, I see greens exploration. Boss's order. Okay, yeah, it's definitely just a firebox. Oh boy. Yeah, that's better. So. Sometimes that has to be done, right? Scratching and whatever. Ah, uh, come on. Bro, I'm waiting. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, hello back. Uh, he 
and literally almost wasted a minute there. And oh boy, don't tell me you're gonna backfire on me right now, right? There's so many other Pokemon to start off with, and then we get that. But it shouldn't be that big of a problem since we do have a quick ball, so we're safe. Alrighty, so what I can see here is that he has a good start, very good start. Uh, we're gonna start off by putting down this one and attach an energy there. Since he won't be scooping up anytime soon. So yeah, we also gave him a giant half, which is fine, I don't care. Okay, I wanna focus on my deck, I'm gonna kinda focus on yours. And if you get a heads, that's sad. That's sad. There's a sad mess. Now oh, that's what I could use now, eh? That's what I could use. Hmm. So already there are gonna be three energies in the discard pile. What a lovely start he has, hasn't he? Doesn't he? So it's gonna attach two inches there, I believe. Yep. And then one on the Victini, lovely. All right, so yeah, we're in trouble. I would say attach this here, of course, but yeah. And then this Mr. Mime is going to die, which is sad. I don't want to use this yet, so I'm going to keep it like that. There's the well that we really needed before. We're going to be, we're going to be able to put down a lot of this, though. That's good. That means that we have a, a, a great start, I guess. It's just one too late, but hey, we can still come back from this. No, no worries. No worries on that, lads. So if you want, if you want to KO that Rashid's odds, then that shouldn't be too big of a problem. It's 300 HP, 120, 120. They do 60 damage left, so that means we have to put three damage counters, six damage counters with Volcarona on to that Rashid's odds to be able to two, two shot it with this Togekiss. There's no worries on that. But then he has a hand dude. It's really just a firebox, that's cool. Pretty interested in that. We could cheer. So what did he do? Yeah, there's a KO like we expected. Can't just go and KO him because I mean, two hundred and ten HP. We're out of that awkward range. We're gonna do that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna attach one energy on him. Just to be sure. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. That happens. <laughs> uh, but okay, we can start by putting down uh, damage counters. That's good. And we, we're we gonna keep all of these things, I believe. But we're gonna put away that energy and we're gonna get down this robot. And get a fresh hands, big hands. Alright, so that's the perfect damage amount. That's good. Now we will search our deck for some cards. We could use a Victini because he has 4 energies which means that is 120 damage and then some extra damage from that but yeah. Not really needed or something like that. Uh, we could use an extra energy. I think. Wait, let's have a look. Yeah, why not. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm happy with this. So there we go. We can start. So far so good. We're even on prizes.
So, okay. Um, this is a scenario in my head. So if we deal 120 now, that's 140. So that means he has 60 HP left. So what if we just don't put dam any damage counters with Volkrun on him right now, but on Victini or Handum? Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Sure thing, bro. Fuck. <laughs> that hurts. Well played. Goddamn, that hurts. That really does hurt. Because that's my main engine of the deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can be happy, sure. It just it hurts. But alright, we won't back down. Let's get another of those law vistas. We're gonna come back stronger than ever. That really sounds confident, right? Okay, let's use that. Definitely use that. Ooh, so now we're again safer than that. Uh, we could just attach that. Sure. Extra damage, always welcome. Sure. Don't mind, don't care. It's very intense. <laughs> it's very intense. Green's exploration, okay. Rather see that than a Melon Lana, right? Tool scrapper. Well, I don't use any tools, tools so that's pretty weird. And an air balloon on the hand doom. And a tool scrapper. On your own Pokemon. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> That's insane. Wow, what a big play was that. <laughs> Did you see that? So you use a tool scrap to get rid of your own tool to just swap it something that you need. <laughs> oh my god, that's just that's just ridiculous, bro. My god. Wow, that was big, big, big play. <laughs> wow, I'm blown away. Well played, man, well played. Whoever you are, you've played well. Nice, nice. So that's pretty smart. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Well done. Well done, mate. Well done. You get respect from me. Man, I can't wait to open these packs up, man. I want to want that Zoroar so bad. Wait, let me show you quickly what I mean with the Zoroar. Zoroar? Zoroar. 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 Zoroar then? Zor. I'm just gonna do Zor. Not, not Ponzor. Zoroar. Zora. Is it Zora? No. Zoro, it's Zoro. <laughs> okay, there we have it. There we have it. Okay, okay. Um, where is it? Hey, so you have one in this um, dark explorers or something like that, and then you have the same kind of card but just a different art style in treasures. That 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 said that it's in the ladder. That's this one, and I want to make a deck with this. So 20 damage for times the number of dark Pokemon you have in play. Could be alright, but not too much. Okay. And then we have Dark Rush, which does 20 for each damage card on this Pokemon. So I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. And yeah, yeah then you have cards like um, Dark Claw. Dark Claw, that was it, yeah. Where is the Dark Claw? There, the Dark Claw. So your attacks from your Dark Pokemon do 20 more damage. Also from Dark Explorer. So I'm, I'm pretty excited for that, actually. So I really want to, yeah, make a deck for that in Legacy. And perhaps I will record it, you know? Perhaps. <laughs> 
gonna be a lot of fun. Anyways, the, without further ado, we're gonna go and do our final match. So right now we're on 1-1. One, one. So one victory, one loss. And that's a shiny Kyogre, Primal Kyogre. I'm not sure. That's a nice coin though. Yes, we go first, lads. Oh, now this is a good start. This is... Wow, this start is perfect. Oh my. Okay, okay. We're gonna keep that Mr. Mime in our hands until we see what he has. Because it could be that we don't need it. We need it. <laughs> we need it, definitely. 100% we need it. Perhaps I should have waited with that stadium, but I mean... Um, filtering that deck is important, you know. It is pretty important. Okay, I'm excited. I'm very excited, actually. If that's a if that's gonna be the Charizard from Vivid Voltage, then I'm sick. I'm excited. Well, then, okay, okay. You go and charge that beast up. I can see what you mean. If you manage to get a well the next turn, we won. Because if we are able to evolve, he did. Nice. Well done, well done. Well played. Why don't you go and find another one for on your own Pokemon? Okay. That's a little weird, I can't comprehend that. Uh, we are kind of behind. <laughs> to say the least, we are behind. We can't do much here. Let's go and filter our deck again. No, you could say, oh no, your your energies are gonna go, but it shouldn't be too much of a deal. Yeah, that's uh, painful sometimes, eh? <laughs> so now he's gonna evolve, likely, very likely. He has a full R welder. That card is so expensive, it's ridiculous. And it's pretty warm card to say the least. <laughs> it's a pretty warm card. What is up with those eyes? What is this character even? I don't know the character. Never seen this one in Cinnamon or whatever like that. Oh well, it's a lovely card to look at. I mean, the, like the suit and stuff, all the... I don't know man, it's lovely. But of course, yeah, people look at this, but... Um, yeah. You see that everywhere, you know, it's not, not, not a surprise most of the time. Gotta love that Welder card, man. And it's Torkoal! Oh! A Torkoal! Now I'm excited! Hell yeah! You gotta love that Torkoal, eh? Torkoal! My man! Love him. Gotta love him. Please give me something. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. There were four energies in the whole deck and we get an energy. That's an oof. That's a really big oof. We have 90 HP on our beautiful Togekiss. Yeah, I'm not gonna go and filter again because now it's otherwise it's getting ridiculous. We have no chance of doing something here. That's sad. Tell my wife I was gonna die there. Oh man. I just hope he can't do something cool. We have 4 energies in our deck, 40 cards in our deck, and we pull top deck and energy. How bad has, does your luck need to be? And, I mean, come on, you haven't drawn a single card? Thank you so much, mate, thank you. What is this? Top decking, my god, it's terrible. Terrible, absolutely terrible, and I'm gonna do this. In case he goes at Marnie's, because otherwise we won't have any energy in his deck. Okay, let's go and do damage. So 150. So like La Vesta uh, or Volcarona can do some damage. My god, by the way, this top decking is very bad luck, okay? It's not the deck, it's bad luck. <laughs> so there's a Charizard. Ooh, a pre-release, pre-release. Like it, like it. Man, I can't wait for the next pre-release, because then I will be going to the events. And man, I'm excited. So excited. Okay, so he goes and KOs that beautiful token. Uh, that beautiful token kiss. I'm sorry, token kiss V. 
and he did discard a Marnie, so that's good news for us. But we need something, please. <laughs> we need something, help me. HELP ME! <laughs> what is this top taking? Oh my god, this is so sad. Oh my god, this is... Please, have faith. <laughs> We're gonna have faith. We believe in the heart of the cards, lads. Okay, we do. We believe in the heart of the cards. Oh Lord Arceus, please give me some power to be able to play. <laughs> Imagine having bad luck, eh? Imagine. Wait, let me message my bro. Because he's asking if he can come upstairs. So I'm telling him I'm almost ready because it's my third match, of course. We're almost done. So maybe that burn can inflict some huge damage, eh? <laughs> He's fully set up, he has two Charizards, a Victini charged, a Torkoal charged, a Charizard charged. And what I have is three Larvestas and Mr. Mime. Yeah. Yeah. Three energies in this card, five in the hand, a switch in the hand. Oh no, the switch, yeah! Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's gonna be a big joke. I had to say something up to my brothers because they were asking me to do something but yeah they clearly knew that I was recording so I was like mm. but, uh, it happens so yeah we have one energy left in that whole deck you know why yeah you know why at least we get a KO right we, we kill that <laughs> no wait wait no forgot I forgot the luck is not on our side we don't get a KO <laughs> sad that's so sad because of that one heat energy <laughs> wow okay this is gonna be one of my top like if you're ever gonna do some replays of like top moments in the channel oh it's gonna be one of the saddest <laughs> this whole whole thing is gonna be so sad yeah man my heart's broken I'm having the baddest match ever I was so excited to play, bro. Now we can't come back, I believe. Yeah, sure. Like, it's not like we need more energies, right? Our top deck is so bad. It's terrible. Like, okay, let's just fill out our hands. So this is all our energy in our deck. Then two there. This is like one of the best things in my life. <laughs> so sad, my god. We had such a beautiful start as well, right? We had such a perfect start. We just didn't have any draw. <laughs> and the top decks have been so terrible. Two switches in a row. And I only have two switches in my whole deck. And 12 energies in my deck. I had four left in the deck cell itself. And what did I top deck? An energy. And then switches. And then a fire crystal. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. A power energy. I forgot that. Not like we already used everything in our deck. So there's one power energy left in our whole deck. All the other cards, we have never seen them. So let's just see what we have prized. Not even that much. Okay, two Marnies, that's something, that's something. Two Marnies prized. A boss is overpriced. But other than that, I mean, it's not a big deal, right? Oh, dumb. It's so sad. It's so sad. It's gonna think, oh my god, your deck's so bad, but I mean, it's just bad luck, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. <laughs> my god, this is just so sad. How long is, has that been taken? <laughs> Please look at my deck. Just see that it's good, okay? See that it's not bad. <laughs> Thank you. It is a decent decay, it's a very decent one. Anyways, okay, let's just move on, let's forget that shit. Yeah, it happens, okay, it happens. It was pretty funny as well. Uh, okay, yeah, um, I, will, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope I see you all in the next video. And please, praise our queen, praise our queen. Give her an applause for the work she has done today. That first match was a very honorable one, the second was also a very good one, where I think that the opponents did some very smart moves. 
and he has definitely deserved the win. And then the third was just was just a joke, it was a big joke. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching, and I hope I see you all in the next video. Cheers.